lane positioning. What is the best lane positioning when you're riding? Hey everybody, welcome to Boots and Jeans Rider. This is Rich. And I'm Kate. And today we're going to talk about lane positioning. <coughs> what is the best lane, what is the best track to ride in when you're riding by yourself? Yeah, this video is going to be intended for the solo rider. And since we here on this two-lane highway, what's up? Just hit my helmet. On this two-lane highway, we're gonna cover that. And for the purpose of this video, the tracks are right, left, and center, or one, two, and three. And right now, I am riding in the number one track, and Cake is riding in the number three track. So, what is the best lane position to ride? especially if you're riding by yourself on a highway like this. Now obviously things change when you're on the freeway. So the answer is, but before we give the answer, we're going to show you a demonstration since we're on this type of freeway. Right now I'm behind a big rig and the same position I'm out, I am in now, I truly believe is the best lane position. But the answer is, the best lane position is the one that give you the advantage so vehicles coming in the opposite direction or vehicles anywhere in general can see you but the most important thing is you can see vehicles also if they don't see you it's extremely important that you can see the vehicles and another thing you don't want to ride too close on the big rig or any car that's in front of you no tailgating right because you, then you'll be at a major disadvantage regardless of what track you're riding in. So today what we're going to do is start this demonstration to show you that the advantage of riding in the number one track or far left track. Now, we're on a fairly straight road. Obviously this changed as the road start curving. If it were curved to my right, then I would switch over to the right track so I can see vehicles in front of this big rig. And the reason we're going to do this demonstration because if I was riding in the number three track, like Cake representing a solo rider riding in a number three track, and if there's a vehicle getting ready to turn left in front of her, she may not see it. Now we are doing about 60 miles an hour, kind of fluctuating. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna let Cake know when I see the next car, and hopefully say what color car it is, and she's gonna give a count, 1001, 1002, and so far. And we're gonna see how many seconds it takes for her to see that car. And right now we continue traveling at 60 miles an hour and go, Kate, I see one. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, ten, one thousand, ten, one thousand. 10, 1,000. Okay, it took her 10 seconds at 60 miles an hour to see that car approaching. So at 60 miles an hour, we are traveling roughly 88 feet per second. And since it took up 10 seconds, that is 88 times 10, which is 880 feet, which is almost two football fields. No, actually almost three football fields because the football field is 300 feet. So she traveled in almost three football fields in the number three track before she even seen that vehicle. Now, what if there was a vehicle waiting to turn left in front of her because they didn't see her because she's behind this big rig truck or minivan or whatever the case may be. She got to really, really, really be ready to do her emergency braking because she traveling 888 feet in 10 seconds. And if that vehicle decided to turn in front of her, she she's covering some ground, 88 feet per and second. Not only turning in front of me, what if that vehicle wants to pass a car that's going too slow in front of them? And right. they can't see me in the track that I'm riding in, and they decide to come in my lane right. and pass the car in front of them, and then tour and go back over. Wow. But because they couldn't see me, I am in a bad position. <laughs> wow! Wow! Excellent! Excellent! I didn't even think of that. So, like, if we want to pass this truck, then I got to go into that lane in order to pass the truck. Yes. So that's excellent. I mean, excellent. So now, don't look like this curve, this street gonna be turning any. But if it was turning to the right, 
then I would probably shift over to my right. That way I can see vehicles coming and for the same exact same reason. But obviously it changes if you're riding on a multiple lane highway or freeway, the answer is still the same. You want to have the advantage to see vehicles whether they can see you or not. So if I'm riding behind any vehicle, let's say it's not a big rig, I want to position myself to where if a vehicle want to come over and invade my space, hopefully they can see me and not riding in a blind spot. But most importantly, I can see them and give myself enough cushion. Like Cake said earlier, I don't want to tailgate. Right now, I'm probably, let me see, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, basically three seconds behind this vehicle. Because we're on a one lane highway, I can slow down and increase my stopping distance, which obviously increase my safety. Right. And you want to be in a position on a track to where you can have enough to escape in case anything does happen. You'll be in a position to where you can go right or left. Exactly. When that comes in mind, you no know, practice in that emergency braking and braking and escape. So unless you have anything that to, to add, now for those of you who remember this demonstration was riding solo. Unfortunately now we have a barrier here. But this was riding solo. So let us know what you're doing when you're riding solo. Which track you prefer to ride in. And if it's anything outside of this particular track, then let us know the reason why. Now one of the tracks we are careful never to ride in is the center track because you know it's commonly known as the grease lane where all the oil and grease drop in. But obviously in twisty roads you can ride use all three tracks. Anyway, cake unless you have anything else to add. Nope, that's all. So we're gonna close the video out right here. So if y'all riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. From Boost and Genius Riders, I'm Rich. And I'm Kate. And we are out. Peace. Peace.